think you're all right. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> Start to sound a little bit <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> now, the reason I'm here this evening is apparently there is some scuttlebutt on the internet <laughs> that I was given away last night on the show. And that's, well, let me put it in a way you'll understand. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> I haven't been on the show for a while because I've been working on other television and film projects. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've got a new series coming out on uh, the TLCs. <laughs> it's called Rabbit Boo Boo. <laughs> and it's about... Shut up! <laughs> Clap, you haven't seen it yet! Jeff, do you think these people just clap because they're afraid? Yeah, they're, they're terrified, these people. Yeah. When, when did I start being able to just talk to you like I'm doing the show? <laughs> <laughs> right now, man, you're making up the rules. That's right. Making up new rules as we go along. Do you know why? Because we genuinely, 100%, absolutely don't give a... <laughs> <laughs> now, is it for one thing? Except for, all right, all right. Except for one thing, I really wish you could put this camera a bit lower down. <laughs> oh, that's good, because my arm's beginning to hurt. <laughs> the, am I out of focus? <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, if I am, I can clean the camera while I'm here. <laughs> we'll be right back with the show, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, yeah. <laughs> Sponsored by Pace. Anything else just ain't right. Pace. Grab the Southwest by the bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Enough. That's very, you've really cheered me up. Thanks a lot, because I was feeling bad, but that was really real. Wow, that ended quick. Yeah, no, I, it did end fast. Yeah, they were they like, hooray, hooray, hooray. Boom, nothing. <laughs> um, do you hear? I feel a little ugh tonight. Ooh. I've got a little bit of the mm. Yeah, yeah. I feel, uh, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, a bit uh, oh. I've got a little bit, I feel a little like I'm a Welsh person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, a little kind of <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I feel a little sick. Ooh, do, I, do I look a little sick? <laughs> <laughs> like, happy you got that big screen TV now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, never mind me because it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> It's, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's, uh, it's Halloween Eve. Halloween Eve, and I feel sick. That's a shame. Ooh. I hope I'm not sick for trick-or-treating. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing creepy about a 51-year-old man out trick-or-treating. 
Take a treat. That looks sick. Uh -huh. No, I'm, I'm sick. Twas the night before Halloween, and I feel really sick. So I cheered myself up with a pumpkin on my front porch. <laughs> front, I said front porch. Front porch. I said front porch. Yeah. By front porch, I mean... Penis. <laughs> he said it, man, not me. He said it. Censor him. You racist bastard. <laughs> Do you know that according to a new survey? <laughs> sorry for calling you a racist. Do people call you racist in the street and stuff? No, I'm sorry. Man. He's not he's not really a racist. He just just hates people who are not like him. <laughs> anyway, according to a new survey, 50% of men are not bothered if their girlfriend wears a sexy Halloween costume, but 100% of their wives are. Ah -ha -ha! Yeah. Boom! Boom! There's your late yeah. night joke. That's tonight's joke stolen from Jay Leno. Come on! Yeah, I'm beginning to think this show is just all tricks and no content whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm okay with. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, it's Halloween Eve, uh, also known as Mischief Night. Kids are supposed to go around playing pranks tonight. <laughs> that's great. That's just what teenagers need, another excuse to be jerks. <laughs> you know that it's true that some grocery stores refuse to sell eggs to teenagers on Mischief Night? Isn't that terrible? Awful. It so it makes me feel bad for well-behaved kids who are looking to make an omelette. <laughs> well, I, I just want to make an omelette and do my homework. I can't get any eggs. I enjoy an omelette now and again. Yeah, I like to do an omelette and play Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel a little sick. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's a, a lovely time of year in L.A. People are parving pump pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins, yeah. <laughs> if you say, what did I nearly say? Cump-pins? Cump-pins. Cump yeah, either way it sounded rude, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I better keep saying it. Anyway, people are carving pumpkins in L.A. It's nice to see knives going into orange faces that aren't Bruce Jenner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the big uh, Mischief Night pranks is writing on people's car windows with soap. I think that's hilarious. So let me give you the address of Jay Leno. 3000 West <laughs> Almeida Avenue, Burbank, California. I don't really like pranks, to be honest. I used to have one of those joy buzzers, you know, the kind of <laughs> things. I didn't use it to shake hands, though. <laughs> I used it... I used it to uh, shake my front porch. <laughs> you know the... Uh, <laughs> oh, mean and dirty. Mean and dirty. dirty. All right. Mean and dirty. Another popular prank is the old uh, snake in the can gag. You know that thing? Yeah, have you ever have you ever had the uh, you ever done the snake in the can, Jeff? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like mischief night right yeah, here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know who's known for playing pranks is George Clooney. He's famous for him. He does pranks on movie sets. He played one of me once. It's a true story. I'm sure George wouldn't mind me telling it on air. Back in 2007, I actually paid 10 bucks to see Ocean's 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me, George. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm done. I feel too sick to that's go it. on. That's yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't go on. I feel too sick. You gonna lay down during the break? I could lay down now if you want. Yeah, go ahead, man. Well, what will happen if I lay down now? What, what would happen? The fabric of late night television fall apart? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's try it then. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, the danger, the danger of doing a television show every night is, of course, that you get too comfortable. <laughs> And you start not to care, and during the monologue, you could just drift off. <laughs> that looks like... Do you want to look, see what it looks like when I'm sleeping? All right, then. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. See that. The horse is sleeping, and I was sleeping, and Jeff, go to sleep. <laughs> Jeff. 
Jeff is sleeping? You're the only one not sleeping. What's that noise in your house? Maybe it's someone come for mischief night. Do I look peaky? I feel like I look peaky. Oh, my goodness. Are you waking up? Oh, my front porch. Oh, you, he's poking in his sleep. Stay Let's see. My, stay off my front porch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Thanks, everybody. Welcome back. We're going crazy tonight, right, Jeff? These are out of control, man. Why are we out of control tonight? Because it's the night before Halloween. It's mischief night, everybody, when we're just going to tweak the nipples of network television, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're do that, Jeff. Do that. Yeah. that. <laughs> we're in tweako vision Hey, hey, hey. Are, huh. you mi are you missing a hand? The hell, man. <laughs> One of your hands seems pretty weird. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, man. What have you been doing with it? I was just uh, painting the front porch. Oh. <laughs> what, uh, what, what color were you? <laughs> what color were you painting the front porch, Jeff? <laughs> Blue. Blue. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. Okay. All right. One ding, we are German. Two dings. Still German. Three dings. Dracula. <laughs> Let's stay at Dracula. Yeah, I like Dracula. All right, we we'll stay at Dracula, Dracula this evening. Yes. Four dings. Italian Bill Clinton. Italian Bill Clinton. What's the common go? <laughs> Five things. Room service. Oh, right, okay. Hello? Uh, hello, sir. It's uh, Jerry from room service. Yeah, what do you want, Jerry? I'm busy. Uh, just checking in, making sure everything's okay. Yeah. But that's not room service, Jerry. That's something else. Uh, because room service is I call you and you bring me a sandwich or some kind of tasty treat. You don't just call me up and say, is everything okay? Is everything okay? It's Jerry from room service. Uh, like, I don't even think you're room service at all. I think you're spying on me from the, for the network. Uh, technically, you rang the bell five times, sir, so that is room service, jackass. <laughs> Does it say anywhere in the rules of television that if you ding the bell five times, it's uh, it's room service? <laughs> You're the one making this stuff up, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> what is six times again? Six times. Oh, we never ring the bell six oh, times. Oh yeah, sir. we never ring the bell six oh, no, times. Sir. You know why? Oh no, no, sir. Candyman. <laughs> don't don't even say it again because I'm going to get two sir. more times uh, and then Candyman <laughs> will appear. Only one more time. Uh, sir, don't say it, man. Sir, don't. Uh, you mean Candyman? Oh! <laughs> oh, well. Uh, apparently, we don't have the budget for candy. <laughs> so, maybe it's just candy. Candy, right. six, six times on the bell means there's just candy. Yes, sir. That's right, sir. All right. You know, maybe we should get a more modern phone. I don't understand, sir. How long have you been in that room back there, Jerry? It is uh, 1928, isn't it, sir? <laughs> Sir, you're, you're the caretaker of the show. You've always been the caretaker, sir. You mean I've always been here? You've always been here, sir. This is freaking the crocky. Oh, me, I tell you. Well, I'll watch you when you sleep, sir. All right, then. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, you will. Well, why did you say it like that? Nothing, sir. Don't worry about it. Are you planning to kill me with an axe tonight? No, sir, no. No, no. Maybe a, maybe a little bit? A little, bit, a little bit, sir. A little bit, right. Well, uh, well don't, okay? All right, goodbye, sir. All right, bye. <laughs> Still here, sir. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, what time is it, Jeff? It's Tweet Mail Time, brought to you by Boxes of Raisins and Pennies, the number one Halloween treat of our target demographic. <laughs> Play the jingle. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Twitter. Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My name is Scooter. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you go to support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than my Gandhi. And yeah. email. A tweet and an email. <coughs> uh, this is uh, this
this is from uh, Katya. Katya in uh, Yokohama, Japan. I didn't know we went out in Japan. Do we don't? So it's illegal downloading off the computers? <laughs> Good for you, kids. Ah. Those kids are probably eating omelets. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, kids, the kids that enjoy omelets, I'm just having an omelet and illegally downloading content from That's the right. computer. Yeah, <laughs> you naughty little monkeys. <laughs> Anyway, Katya says, uh, Dear Craig, have you ever uh, been here in Japan for Momi Jari? Momi Jigari? Mo I don't know what that is. Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, Momi Jigari, yeah. Yeah, Momi sure. Jigari, what is that? Yeah, you yeah, know, that's, uh, that's a mummy. Ja is that Japanese Halloween? It is, Japanese Halloween, yeah. Momi Jigari. <laughs> what happens at Momi Jigari? You dress up like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're out of time. That's it? Yeah, that's it. The show's over. <laughs> Well, we had a good run. Yeah, we did. I mean, what did we do, nine years? Yeah, it's a long time, man. <laughs> too, too long, man. Yeah. Too long. <laughs> I, I went to an unhappy place there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, you did. We'll be right back with tonight's special guest. He's a good friend of this show. He's a friend of mine. He's my old boss. He hosts The Price is Right weekdays on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell? Yeah. Is the Price is Right? <laughs> hey, Drew Carey, everybody. Drew Carey. Man, you know that they play the perky, upbeat uh, game show music for you now. Yeah. Did you notice that? Great job on the show. Hey, Tom. thanks, man. Good to see you again. You know what the best part? What the hell's going on here, man? You can't take my my sidekick and just use. I'm not. Him. I just we we had a great day together, didn't we? Oh, we did. We did. You know what the best part of the day was? He sat on your his, front porch. His cold, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his cold skeletal fingers running across my naked old body. Oh yeah, no. yes. I'm not unfamiliar with the sensation. Playing the, playing my favorite game. Whose bone is it anyway? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you look good, man. You're still thin and handsome. I'm kind of annoyed. I'm trying. I'm nah, trying. I was kind of hoping that the whole kind of like health thing, that it would just be like a fad and you'd get fat again. <laughs> I'm, I'm borderline pig out. I, I was at Disneyland over the weekend with my kid and I just picked out like crazy. No, oh, man, you look great. Like you, you just look great. I'm, I'm actually deeply annoyed because I, I was going to, you know, I was going to poke fun at Why you. Why don't we get fat together? Okay. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember when we were doing the? Uh, do you remember we were doing the Phil Monty episode of the show? We had to do that naked yeah. scene. Yeah. Oh we were, my God. And we were trying to get starving, and you found me eating cookies at the craft <laughs> store. Well, I remember. Yeah, we were going to do this Phil Monty episode where we were all going to be totally naked, and you and I were the we, only we ones. We went totally naked. Yeah. Yeah, we were the yeah, only yeah. ones who were totally naked. Yep. Uh, uh, Ryan Styles. <laughs> Ryan Styles and DJ Bader and uh, Ian Gomez all wore a little pouch thing. Yeah, they were very little pouches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we were all worried about, like, oh, my God, we're going to be naked on TV. So everybody was like that. And then I remember, I think it was you, and I said, like, hey, they changed the, they moved up the taping date or something, like a week. Oh, yeah, And you went, like, right. oh, hell, but I'm having a cookie then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. may as well, because it was, it was only late. a couple days away. So. Yeah, are you still running, though? Are you still kind of, like... Yeah, I got accepted. Uh, actually, I'm going to be running the Boston Marathon in April. Oh, hey, good for you, man. That's great. Uh, yeah. I got in this... Uh, there's a show on NPR that I guest hosted one time, and I've been on a few times, called Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Oh, I've been on that show. Great show. That's right? a great show. That's yeah. a funny radio show. Really funny. Yeah. And, uh, Peter I Sagal, wish I was on it now. Peter Sagal, the host. 
<laughs> so you without any makeup? And yeah, yeah, I just like, ah. It doesn't matter. You can just turn up. You just not wear any pants. You're like, ah. Oh, Peter, Peter Sagal always dressed up, uh, dresses up in a suit. And he got me a bib for, we're running for some charity. I can't remember which one or I'd say it. Oh, yeah. But that's, um, very did, did, I'm sure this one is very important. Yeah, to I didn't qualify. <laughs> well, I just want to let you know, because you usually have to qualify for the Boston Marathon, and I did not. Uh, right. I'm not that fast. So I'll be one of those last guys coming through. Well, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. you'll be one of the celebrity late yeah. entrants. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's fine. People want to see you struggling uh, <laughs> and be upset. Can I, can I tell you, I, I ran this marathon, and um, uh, the Marine Corps Marathon was the only other marathon I ran. And I had to get there, like, super early in the morning. It was super cold out because I was the official starter. Right. I, didn't have a lot, I didn't have any time to really stretch out. It was cold. My feet were wet from the, from the ground. So it was a bad start to a marathon, right? Didn't really stretch or anything. So around mile 15 or so of this 26-mile thing, my hip flexors went out. Oh, and your hip flexors are right here. That's what makes your leg go up and down. And uh, Jeff, you can go those, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they went, and I was like struggling to run. And then at one point, I could barely walk. Oh. And I was like, Ugh. I was like barely walking. And I, I told everybody I was running this marathon. And I had my head in my, it was in Georgetown. And I had my, it was in Washington, D.C., in Georgetown. And I had my head in my hands because I didn't want anybody to see me because I thought I was going to break down and Don't cry. Don't look at me. Yeah. Don't look at me. I thought I was going to break down and cry. And I was like, oh my God, this is the worst thing. I'm walking. I probably have to drop out of the race. And there was an old couple watching on the sidewalk in Georgetown. And the woman goes, look at that poor man. <laughs> 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 How do they do this? <laughs> and I was like, oh, just keep walking. Don't let her see who you are. <laughs> no, it's all right, but it's good. I can't believe you're running marathons. I mean, Jesus. Well, it'll be my second one. So. Yeah, well, that's yeah. still good, though. It's Something. two more than I've done. Let's do it together. No, man. Let's get no. fat together. Let's run a marathon No, together. I don't mind getting fat with you, but I'm not running a marathon with you. I mean, I'll, 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 dri I'll, drive, uh, the, I'll drive along and go, look at that poor man. <laughs> How about a half marathon? No, no, not even a quarter marathon. Not even a walk to the store. I'm not doing it. Not a 10K? A six uh, miles? I don't know. I don't know. Because you'll run all fast and I'll be ashamed. I'm not, that fa I'm not that fast. Yeah, you say that, but I know how competitive you are. No, I'm not that yeah, fast. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're really competitive. I, I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> like, oh, no, I can't run that fast. Oh! Feel the burn. I'm, yeah, I'm the guy where if you like play a game with me, I've already read every. I've been on the internet and found every trick to the game, and I've like researched it before you play the. You first. playing Minecraft yet? Yes. Ah, Constantly. I was wondering. You know, Minecon is this weekend in Florida. That's where the big. Uh, really? Yeah. Do you play it? I don't, but my kids play it, and they love it. You, I, I was going to play it, but then it, it's too hard. You need to play it. <laughs> You have to do things and build stuff. It's like hard, you know. But Marcus Pearson, who did, who invented it's not, it, <laughs> it's not hard. It's, it's harder than this. <laughs> this is yeah, as hard as I did yeah, it, right? It's harder than this. Right. Yeah. It's harder than this. <laughs> a lot more thinking than this. Right. It's more thinking than hosting a late night show. I'm not interested. Or a game show, for that matter. Oh, a game show. Yeah. Like if I want to challenge myself, I play Minecraft because it's so. E Don't we have the best life now? Oh yeah, it's great, man. I I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm really super lucky. Uh, you know what I was going to do? What happened to you, man? Because of mischief night. I, was I never did it, but next year I'm going to do it. And well, you should do it, too. Do you have uh, tour buses go by your house? Uh, n why? I do. <laughs> I don't know why. I I'm would, they going? Starting this summer. Nobody lives in there, so let's keep moving. Starting this summer, tour buses have been driving by what they think is my house, but it's not. And uh, Well, then, how do you know <laughs> that they're driving by? The guy uh -huh. lives there. It is your house. <laughs> <laughs> you and your logic. Uh, so I was I couldn't get it together in time, but I was gonna like decorate my house like Halloween. Right. And then hire some actors with chainsaws and stuff to scare the uh -oh. out of the tour. Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. <laughs> well, you should do it. Uh, next year I'm gonna do it. But what I'm gonna do for sure is I'm gonna get uh, Christmas decorations on my house. Right. For the tour buses. Right. And they come by and right at my gate in really beautiful tinsel, it's gonna say Sacre bleu. <laughs> it's my friend Drew. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Drew Carey. We're out of time, Drew. Oh, I'll... yeah, yeah. No, you and me. I mean, it's it's time. Time's up. We have to re we have to retire from show business. Fine for me. I really like. Uh, I've had a good run. Yeah, I've yeah. Not, not, not got nothing to complain about. I like your socks. They're a bit like mine. Actually, mine are tights. Uh, mine are. 
Yeah, no, mine stop right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop. That's I was, good. For a second, I was going to go no socks, but I thought, nope, I'm on TV, you got to be professional. No, no, you don't want to go no socks, socks. because that kind of says douche. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does, Drew. It says douche. You know, like, it's, it's Hollywood wearing, douche, you know? Yeah, I think if you're wearing tennis shoes with jeans, you can wear no socks. Yeah, if you're at the beach. <laughs> but not if you're walking around, like, interacting with other humans. You can't do that, man. Well, I wear no socks all the time, so I guess I'm a douche then. <laughs> and the yes, horse is like... Drew, yes. <laughs> yes. And that's, that's the first step in recovery, is admitting <laughs> that you are a douche. <laughs> I'm gonna punch a horse in the face when I get out of here. <laughs> man, don't, you don't mess with that horse. That horse, that horse. I'll mess with, I'll mess with don't that Don't mess with that horse, I'll man. I'll mess with the horse. I, I swear, he's like, that horse is from downtown. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he'll kick that door open. Watch this, look, look. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at that. See? Yeah. Kick his ass, man. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock it off. Knock it off. Fight, fight. I'll see you at the glue it. factory. Schnitzel. <laughs> oh, man. Look, now you upset the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we'll see how much America loves you. <laughs> mean to, Drew Carey, mean to horses. <laughs> <laughs> he hates animals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't he does spay and neuter your horses, whatever you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, you, do you still say that, spaying your, your pets? Yeah, you want to know the greatest thing? Uh, one time we had a pregnant woman uh, show where everybody in the show was pregnant. It was like a, it was like a big, it was a big, like, uh, what do you call those parties for pregnant women? Uh, shower. Yeah, baby shower. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. So, That's because uh, the water breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. So, uh, well, the tears. Why would you applaud that? <laughs> It was a clever... Thing. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, all right. So we're having this baby shower thing. And everybody in the audience is pregnant. Every single contestant, all the people in the audience are pregnant. It's all pregnant women. <laughs> At the end of the show, I go, I'm saying bye, and I go, hey, listen. I go, how much the other the person won? I go, hey, listen, I know everybody's pregnant here. I want to just, from the bottom of my heart, just say, I hope your babies turn out happy and healthy and hope you have a good pregnancy. By the way, don't forget to get your pets spayed and neutered. <laughs> Yeah. As it was coming out, I was like, ah. Yeah, probably yeah. not. Yeah. Hey, I heard that. I heard don't that. let it happen to your dog. It's okay if it happens to your wife or girlfriend, but don't let it happen to your dog. That's bad. Don't make your dog go through this. It's horrible. That was my message. Yeah, I know. I get that. Is Bob's coming on the show, though, isn't he? He's great. Yeah, he's going to... We're taping it soonish in the next couple weeks, but it's gonna be on, I think it's December 12th is when he's gonna be on. He's gonna be turning 90 years old. Yeah, we got a picture of him, man. Look at him. Right, right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he looks like uh, on TV. I sent, yeah. him a, I sent him a pint of blood every week. <laughs> nah, he's a cool guy, though, isn't he's he? He's a great guy. Yeah, yeah. I saw him at a, some uh, animal event not too long ago. Man, it's funny, yep. funnier than hell. It's like super quick, like uh, everything. Yeah, you can do backflips and stuff. It means yeah, incredible. pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Get out of here. That's it. Yeah. Drew right. Carey, everybody. Drew yeah. Carey. the co-anchor of uh, Premier Impacto, which airs every day on Univision. Really? Yeah. Take a look at this. <laughs> well... Uh, to all our uh, Hispanic viewers, uh, before we start this, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I don't speak any Spanish. No, no Spanish. That'll be all right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful Pamela Silva, everybody. Pamela Silva. Pamela. Hola, 
ahead, Craig. I'm sorry I don't speak any Spanish. It's I was okay. trying to learn and then I just... Uh, it's okay. Uh, little by little. You have to watch Primer Impacto to learn little by little. That's yes. what you learn. You watch TV and you pick up on it. Todos días un, po un poquito más. That's right. <laughs> Did I you understand what I said? Yeah, it was, oh, pretty, it was pretty good. I love that you're a kisser. You know, we like to kiss and hug people I'll too. I'll kiss you anytime you like. <laughs> no. You, uh, it's the news, though, you do. Like, I do news. It's yeah. a news magazine, Daily Show at 5 p.m. Do you have to like the serious kind yeah, of like the scary? Yeah, I mean, it's, we have a good variety. It's like a roller coaster. So we have 10 minutes of very intense hard news. Right. Like caught on videos, like very, you know, violent scenes. And then we do entertainment, we do sports, we do, we do a little bit of Do that thing again where you do entertainment and sports. Do that. <laughs> That's great. You like that? Yes, I like it very much indeed. First time I do a late show, so I'm excited. Oh, this is not really a late show. No? Well, it's kind of, I, I don't know what it is. It's, uh, what is it? Um, it's like a, like a fake show? I don't yeah, know. it's kind of like, it's a creepy guy alone in his basement sort of I, show. I, I do love Jeff. So you, my mom has been watching the show. Oh, she has? She's been calling him Geoff. Geoff? I know. The whole well, that's way, how you pronounce it in Spanish, isn't it? Yeah, it's, is it? Yes, it is. But you know what's funny? Because she's worried that, I guess, she's like, does, she have wa does he have water in that cup? Is that dangerous for him? You so know, I, whole, I never even <laughs> saw him. I mean, you would think, you know, he's a robot. I, I don't think. know. Is that dangerous? Do you have water in that cup? It's whatever you want it to be, mommy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also have water, for I, I also, too, like to live dangerously. I see that. Um, so, where are you from? I'm Peruvian. Peruvian? Have you been to Peru? Never. That is it's Peruvia, is, is the Peruvia. Peru is the, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Peru is where they, uh, let me see what I know of Peru. They eat guinea pigs. Do you eat guinea pigs? Yes. Oh, wow, really? I know. I personally don't, but it's very popular in my country. Have you ever eaten them? I have not. I uh, know. Because right. when they serve it, the guinea pig's face and claws yeah, are still I had there. To do, yes, I had to do a story once, and you walk in, and it's like hundreds of guinea pigs just like... I know, it's, it's a thing. But we have other wonderful stuff. We have great food. We have Machu Picchu. Yeah, yeah. And, and you eat guinea the, pigs. So, uh... <laughs> do you ever think when you're doing the, um, the really serious news stories mm -hmm. and it's really, you know, very, very serious mm -hmm. and dangerous, do you ever start laughing or anything? I have laughing attacks all the time. Yeah, and I have but during wonderful... the serious ones? I know. It's t I mean, we try not to, but we're humans. You know how it is. Right. We try not to, but I have a great co-anchor, Barbara. She's gorgeous and she's like, wonderful. Yeah. And we have a... <laughs> Let's get her on then. I like <laughs> yeah, she's I, great. She's I'll do great. the show in Spanish. I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah. Let's do it. We have a, we have an all-female cast. Oh, so you it's do. Fun. Yes. That sounds like it, they're almost making the news a bit sexier than perhaps it need be. No. Does, at any point during the news, does it start raining and you girls no. kind of like? <laughs> no, but it's do. raining. And that means it's yeah. time for entertainment news. We do. We do have a beautiful weather person, Jackie Garrido. She's beautiful. So yeah. she's gorgeous. She's like. She's pretty. I stunning. believe you. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm all about it. From now on, I would like my news delivered entirely in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way to go now. Uh, you're from Peru. You grew up in Peru then? I grew up in Peru. I moved to Florida, so I'm from Miami. Oh, you know, Miami. Funny, true story. I was driving yesterday to the airport. I was like, you know, I hope it's a good show. I'm waiting for like a sign. And then I look up and it says, hot and grumpy, Craig Ferguson, coming down to South Florida. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's yeah, exciting. yeah, I'm going. To, I, that's what I call the stand-up show when I hot and grumpy. I know, but it sounds I, sexy, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> but imagine I'm like asking for a sign. You know, where Latinos are very superstitious. Yeah, but you're so Scottish people too, actually. And I look up and it's like hot and grumpy, and it's like your face, <laughs> huge. <laughs> But what do you, is that a good sign or a I bad it's sign? A good sign. Yeah, I think it's a good sign. I think you're doing great. I mean, you'll go on to proper late night television now. <laughs> this is this is you on your way. It'll so, be Lano and kind of. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, I was excited that I saw you were coming down to South Florida. Yeah, I, have been I love it in South Florida. We're a fun Florida. crowd. Yeah. We're What's rowdy. It? Yeah, no, they are. Yeah, they are. Do you know what I do when I'm trying out new material? Is I like to go to uh, Latino night in uh, at the Pas in Pasadena. Because okay. then, you know, I know that the crowd We're aren't there. We're very honest. Well, I, right? also, I know the crowd aren't there to see me. So then <laughs> that's when you know the material's either good or bad, because they're not there to see me. That's not true. No, that's pretty true. Well, you actually. have a lot of you have a lot of Latinos watching tonight. Could yeah, well, yeah, I bet tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But <laughs> well, that's good. That's I like very that. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But next time for real. 
obviously I'm biased, but you should put Peru in your visit list. Yeah, it's no, I, I, I'd like what to What are the seven wonders of the world? It's like a lot of sightseeing, good food, good people. I'm just, it's the guinea fun. pigs are worried to me, though, because I feel like I, you know, yeah. no, I feel if I, I went it. there, I'd and have to eat guinea pigs. And you know when they serve it, it's like they bring them out, and it has like a little apple in their mouth, and yeah, I understand. Well, it must be a very yeah. little apple, though. Yeah, it's like a miniature. <laughs> How'd you get those little apples? Or they have really big guinea pigs, which is even more. They have giant yeah, guinea pigs? They're pretty. That's so weird. I know. I kind of like it, though. I know. And I mean, so a lot of people look like you and they eat giant guinea pigs. That's kind of a country made for me, I think, really. Yeah? Yeah, I think. So did you go back a lot? I do. I try to go back once a year. Yeah. Um, usually, I mean, we have opposite seasons. So when it gets, you know, hot down there, it's cold in Miami. Oh, yeah, so, it's I mean, in it never really southern gets cold hemisphere, in right? So right. things go around the other way. So I try to have, like... <laughs> They, that's right, they go around the other way, right? right. You're wounded at that, you don't even know what I mean. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean. I also saw you have great soccer skills. Well, the, the, in small doses, right. yeah. Do you follow soccer? I do. Of well, we, course. We have the South World American. Cup next year. So yeah, that's true. Univision's excited, and we're going to go to Brazil and then some. Univision's doing really well, aren't we're, they? Yeah, we're kicking butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's but maybe the way to go. I think that's the way to go for me. Yeah. Do you think they'd be interested in a late night show in bad Spanish? <laughs> maybe. Well, we have an English network now, Fusion. Really? Yeah, it's all in English, so. I'm not interested in that. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I've tried that here. It hasn't worked. It's like a... <laughs> no. But like millennials and it's fun. So we have a lot of fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, good. Well, listen, we it's lovely fun. to meet you. I'm afraid we're Thank out of time. You. If I'd have known you were coming, I'd have spent a lot less time with Drew Carey. Trust <laughs> me. I... He looks so good. He does look good. He yeah, great. he does. He does. Oh. He looks... Well, he looks good, but... Comparatively, yeah. No, he I looks was, all right. I was surprised too. He looks really good. No, he does. Yeah, I was hoping he would get fat again. You know. But. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, no. It's... Why are we like that? I don't know. I think I, 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 you know, that kind of, the Germans have a word for it, schadenfreude. <laughs> it's that, that word where you enjoy the, yes. the failure of other mm -hmm. people. I we do should. have a lot of that. <laughs> no, you don't. Nah, not really. Do you not have your really. costume for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going as a werewolf. My kids want me to be a werewolf. Do you have to? You wearing a costume tomorrow? I haven't had Just time make to one up in your head. Just throw some ears. Yeah, throw just some ears. Well, put some ears on and pretend it's raining. That's like that. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Don't they do that in the telenovelas? It's oh, they do like, that all the time. Oh, it's great. You have to watch the novelas. Oh, well, I Those are I see really good-looking people, and yeah. it's like a love triangle, and they're addicting. Yeah. Do you watch them? I do. Really? Yeah, they're bread and butter at Univision. So. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, so, uh, awkward pause or uh, anything? No, we're really out of time because I could talk for days. Yeah, I'd let you too, but I, uh, <laughs> but we really are out of time. But come back again and bring Please. your cast of gorgeous yeah. news anchors <laughs> with you. They're very smart. All right, all right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Remember I said I was feeling sick at the start of the show? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, after the young lady from Univision, Miss, Miss Silva, uh -huh. I think I've got fever. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of a fever? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've got palpitations. And, oh, yeah? Yeah, and I feel like I... <laughs> <laughs> She's very attractive, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Here, this will calm us down. Ah. <laughs> Ah, I feel my libido leaving again. Ah, all sense of sexual stimulation leaving my body. What about you, Jeff? Oh, I smell brisket. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow, everybody. Night, night.